Welcome, my name is Tiffany Isabel Bonilla Basantes. I am a volunteer of the Ecuadorian Red Cross Cotopaxi Provincial Board. The project I Know How to Act, Se Actuar, Nyukushani is an early warning project for an eruptive process of the Cotopaxi volcano. Aimed at the parishes that are in unsafe areas and will be affected by lahars. My project targets the 16,000 inhabitants of the urban parish of San Buenaventura. We contacted to the parish president and learned that the inhabitants haven't received enough information about the eruptive process of the Cotopaxi volcano, the difference alerts, what the volcano emanates, how to take care of their crops, livestock and themselves into even of ash fall. In addition, the families and the educational institutions don't have a family plan and some don't have an emergency backpack. There aren't have a good signs and the two sirens aren't enough to cover the entire parish. The action plan is divided in nine phases. Phase one, talk with the president about the knowledge of the community and classify the neighborhoods as more and less vulnerable. Phase two, organize the community for talks in order to train them on what to do in case of an eruption. Phase three, creation of the WhatsApp group. Phase four, making the family plan and assembling emergency backpacks together with the family. Phase 5. Go to the two basic education schools in the parish to carry out an evacuation plan and improve signage within the institution. Phase 6. Placement of the cenizometer in the neighborhood house, uh, which will undergo maintenance every month if there is a trace of ash. Um, it will be sent to the Geophysical Institute of the EPN for analysis. Phase 7. Management of the acquisition, placement of new signage and sirens, and update the evacuation route of the entire parish. Phase 8, right with the community, and finally, phase 9, closing of the project. The innovative approaches of this project are the recycling, that is by building homemade cenizometer. The use of technologies within the community, such as WhatsApp, to create a channel to communication and information. It's also intended to reach conventional communication, such as radio or local TV. All this is based in Spanish and Quechua. The success and challenge of the project. The success lies in the fact that the population allows us to generate this link to strengthen their capacities. The challenge is to call the attention of the community so that they get involved in this project in a positive way with all the predisposition to put into practice with they have learned. In conclusion, what the project seeks to do is to disseminate information for the community so that it can stand up for itself and that its response capabilities and resources are effective in the event of a possible eruption. And also that the channel is open to receive news from the Cenizometer, care tips, and thus provide a good follow-up. Thank you.